Hello students, welcome to Manual Education. This video is related to Maharashtra MCA CET, and this video will be also helpful for your other MCA exams preparation. So this is video series. In this video series, we will learn about trigonometry for MCA entrance. This is part one of that video series. So in this video series, what we will learn about concepts and chapters which will appear on your exam. Okay. and we will also uh, solve some questions which have already appeared in your exam okay so you will have a brief idea what type of concepts and chapters which you will be uh, which you will be facing in your exams and what type of questions that might appear in your exam okay so before i start i would like you to tell you about mca entrance coaching which we have started online for our students for for uh, inquiry related this uh, online coaching you can contact on this number or you can visit our website and you can directly register for this coaching for classroom preparation you can call on this number for respect to inquire inquiring reg uh, regarding respect to branches and for other information you can contact on the numbers given below okay so let's get started so uh, related to the trigonometry in mca there are two to three questions which appear every year in your exam so these questions are briefly divided into three topics one is trigonometric ratios and identities other is trigonometric equations and last is inverse trigonometric ratios okay so the major chunk of the questions which appear from are the trigonometric ratios and identities and trigonometric equations and there are sometimes where you can find the questions from the inverse trigonometric part also okay so in this video we will discuss about trigonometric ratios and identities what are trigonometric ratios and identities and what type of questions appear in your exam okay so let's move on so trigonometric ratios and trigonometric identities okay so what are trigonometric identities trigonometric identities are simple sin theta cos theta tan theta which you which you might be already aware about so on and so forth so all these trigonometric identities have their respective trigonometric ratios like sin theta is have the trigonometric ratio as opposite upon hypotenuse cos has adjacent upon hypotenuse tan has of opposite upon adjacent okay so these are the trigonometric ratios okay so depending upon varying upon uh, the various angle of uh, various angle uh, various value of theta which is the angle the trigonometric ratios will vary okay so these trigonometric ratios are or also related with the allied angles allied angles are nothing but like all the sin cos tan thetas all are periodic functions okay periodic functions like they repeat their value after a certain value like you can you know you might have been knowing the value of uh the graph of sin theta so sin theta this is 0 this is 90 degree and this is 180 degree so after 180 degree sin will repeat its value similarly cos had uh, cos cross graph is something like this okay so the value of sin cos tan these all are periodic functions and they repeat their value after certain time so you don't have to remember every angle of sin cos tan this trigonometric identity if you remember the value of 0 to 90 degree you can find all the angle values of sin cos tan theta all the trigonometric identities so in first quadrant first quadrant it is 0 to 90 degree in second quadrant which is from 0 or 90 to 180 degree third quadrant is 180 to 270 degree and fourth quadrant is 270 to 360 degree okay so to remember what will be the value or what will be the value of ratio of the various trigonometric identity there is a shortcut which you can remember or the acronym which uh, which you can say like all smart trigo classes so a is a acronym or abbreviation for all so all means all the trigonometric ratios will be positive in first quadrant s is for sine so all the values of sine where the angle lies from 0 90 degree to 180 degree all the ratios value will be positive similarly for tan for 180 to 270 degree all the tan values will be positive and from 270 degree to 360 degree angle value of cos will be positive okay and respectively it uh, all the other values all trigonometric other ratios will be negative here 
here all other trigonometric will uh, ratios will be negative and here all other trigonometric ratios will be negative okay simple so you don't have to remember uh, which uh, which value will be positive which in uh, which value will be negative uh, where this is very important concept when you are solving the question okay so this will be very useful for you in uh, so uh, using the elimination method on trigonometric question okay then there will be various trigonometric formulas you might be aware about some of the trigonometric formulas like uh, sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 so this is one of the most basic trigonometric formula which you know so these are there are many trigonometric formulas which you have to remember to solve various trigonometric questions and then last is some important trigonometric ratios so there are some important uh, trigonometric ratios which are other than the standard trigonometric ratios which appear in your exam which you have to remember to solve the questions quickly uh, and you have a some competitive edge over the other aspirants which are giving the exam okay so there are some important trigonometric ratios which we will uh, provide you which you have to remember so you can solve the questions more faster as compared to other people who are giving the exam okay so you might be knowing there are other 25000 people who are giving the exam so you should be having some kind of edge wherein you are solving more questions as compared to other competitors which are giving the same exam right so we will move to the question related to trigonometric ratios and identities so this is first question in the first question what is given the value of tan 7 pi by 8 is so what we have to find we have to find the value of this trigonometric identity okay so when you will find any trigonometric identity first first thing you have to do is first thing you have to do is convert the angle value into standard value okay so uh you might learn uh, most of the thing uh, most of the thing in your classes or some might uh, some uh, some of you might be aware about it so there are standard uh, trigonometric angles that is 30 degree 60 degree uh, 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree and so on and so forth okay 180 degree so 180 degree is known as pi so 90 will be half of pi 60 will be pi by 6 Okay, sorry, pi by three. Forty-five will be pi by four. Thirty will be pi by three, and zero will be zero. Okay, so what standard value we I can break down seven pi by eight. I can break it to near to pi by four. So I can write tan as seven pi seven pi by four by two. So this is also seven pi by eight. Ten seven pi by eight. Okay, so for your understanding. i am solving the, uh, it in this way okay other than you or you have to do all the all the, the all this thing in your mind only okay you don't have to write everything you cannot write everything in your exam you will be wasting your time okay 7 pi by 4 okay so what i will do is i will use the half angle formula half angle formula what is half angle formula of tan theta by 2 tan theta by 2 is plus minus under root of 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta okay so we have to decide the value that it will be plus or minus how i will know the value of our uh, trigonometric i the uh, trigonometric uh, trigonometric angle or trigonometric identity will be positive or negative simple by this shortcut which we have learned just now so all smart trigo classes so where will be 7 pi by 8 7 pi by 8 will be lying some uh, somewhere in the second quadrant so value will be negative so what i can say that value whatever value of the ratio will come it will be negative then 1 minus cos what will be 7 pi by 4 so 7 pi by 4 so pi by 4 will be here in first quadrant here we will be have 3 pi by 4 here will be have 5 pi by 4 and here will be have 7 pi by 4 so what will be the value of cos cos will be value of cos will be positive so whatever trigonometric ratio which we have it, the value will be positive and what is pi by 4 cos pi by 4 is cos 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 okay so what we have is 1 minus 1 by root 2 upon 1 plus 1 by root 2 okay if you rationalize this what you will get root 2 minus 1 upon 
root 2 plus 1 okay then we uh, when we multiply and divide by root 2 minus 1 and root 2 minus 1 okay so we can simplify this so when you simplify this what you will get is this is root 2 minus 1 the whole square okay and this will be a plus b and a minus b so what we will get root 2 the whole square minus 1 the whole square right so we, uh, we have done this just to simplify so we can match to our option okay so uh, what will be my under root of square and this square root and square square will get cancel out so what i will get is and this root 2 the whole square will be 2 2 minus 1 will be 1 so what i will get minus of root 2 minus 1 which will be 1 minus root 2 which is option number 1 got my point so in exam you don't have to solve everything okay in exam only uh, you will write this step and from this step you will go directly to this step okay every other thing you should do in your mind okay every other thing you should do in your mind if you end up solving this and writing everything this on your page then you will kill lot of your time it will take more than one minute okay so for that you have to know all the concept and you must have solved this type of questions prior to the exam so when this type of questions appear in your exam you are more faster okay so now we will move to the next question so in next question a trigonometric identity is given cos pi cos pi is pi pi by 3 and wherein the pi value lies between 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi okay 2 pi then value of 2 pi will be okay so all smart trigo classes so it is given 3 pi by 2 what is 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 is nothing but 270 degree and 2 pi is 180 degree right sorry 2 pi is 360 degree because pi is 180 degree we already know so 2 pi will be 2 into 180 degree which is 360 degree okay there all these values you should be uh, you will be aware and this everything will be become very natural to you when you go solve more and more trigonometric questions you don't have to remember all this okay this will come very naturally to you so uh, the value of pi will from 270 to 360 the cost value will be uh, tan value will be negative so what i can say the answer can be either a or b the answer cannot be different from a or b right so i know that answer is a and b uh, what what they have asked is tan 2 phi so what is for our formula for 2 tan 2 phi tan phi upon 1 minus tan square phi okay so 1 minus tan square phi so tan what uh, what more i can say about tan square tan square 1 plus tan square is sec square right so and sec is nothing but sec is inverse of cos so i can write it as cos square phi is 1 upon 1 plus tan square phi right or rather than doing it this way what i can say tan square phi is nothing but sec square phi sec square phi minus 1 and sec is nothing but 1 plus cos square phi minus 1 what is cos value cos value is 13 is phi by 13 so it will be phi by 13 the whole square minus 1 okay so this will be 169 by 25 minus 1 so 169 minus 25 it will come out to be 144 by 25 so i got the value of tan square tan square phi tan square phi is nothing but 144 by 5 so i will substitute this value here in the denominator so when i substitute this value in the denominator what i will get is 1 minus 144 by 25 so 144 by 25 it will be 119 
so where i have the value of denominator in 111 in option a okay so in this way you have to solve the question in your exam okay you don't have to go into the conventional method where to uh, you have to do everything you have to find the value of cos sin and cos opposite angle adjacent angle then you have to find find the value of tan phi then you go to uh, then substitute that value of tan phi into this equation and then you have to find so this will be very lengthy method and it will kill your time in your exam so you have to find various shortcut methods wherein you can eliminate the options and you can reach to the right option with where uh, with as much minimum solution as much possible okay so in next uh, in next video we will learn about trigonometric equations and inverse functions okay so if you if you if you like this video please do like the video if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video or regarding mca please mention in the comment section i will be more than happy to answer your doubts and if you are interested for any of the above things okay you can contact on this number or you can visit our website or and for various classroom batches you can contact on this number our pune branch is also coming soon so for inquiry regarding pune branches you can contact on this number thank you